Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of finite element analysis. In this session, I am solving a problem of transverse vibration. This is related to the topic of transient dynamic response. Let's start. Find the two natural frequencies of transverse vibrations of a beam fixed at both ends as shown in the figure below. Use consistent mass matrix. So what mass matrix I am supposed to use is already mentioned in the question so I need not choose. E into I which is flexural rigidity is already given to me as 10 raised to 6 units and rho into A this value is together given as 10 raised to 6 units. You can see here the length is given as 1 unit it is fixed at both ends. You need to understand that when a beam is fixed at one end what you see is an actual vibration but for vibration to take place in the perpendicular direction to the axis of the body obviously both ends have to be fixed only then you can see this kind of a motion. I have already solved the numerical on actual and transverse vibration using ANSYS. You can go and check those videos. You will get a clear idea of the mode of frequency or the way the body is going to vibrate and it will help you understand the concept very clearly. So we will start solving. My first step is discretization. I will draw the beam. Both ends are fixed. Let me divide this entire body into two element form. So I will have one element here and this is my second element this is node 2 and this is node 3 these two will have same length equal length i mean 0.5 unit each next i'll go to my step 2 which is development of eme so this is the eme for the beam which is under transverse vibration considering consistent mass matrix now we will solve for element 1 for element 1 the value of he is h1 which is equal to 0.5 and I know E into I is given as 10 raised to 6. Also the value of rho into A is 10 raised to 6 units. So I am going to substitute all these values in this equation. I first have a 10 raised to 6 common from both these terms. And here this is 2 upon He square. So when I solve it I get 16. And then I will write the rest of the terms. Next I will have minus omega square. This rho into A I have already taken out. So He upon 420 is what remains. So here I will get 840. And then when I multiply He with all the terms inside I get. Now this closes here. And what remains is V1, V2, V3, V4 raised to 1 is equal to Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 raised to 1. Now I am going to multiply the 16 inside and divide these terms by 840. So let's see what I get as the matrix. So this is what I obtain. Now as we have already drawn the discretization diagram, that element 1 is between node 1, 2. Now this 1, 2 are the nodes, but here we have to mention the degree of freedom. That is 1, 2, I'll have 3, 4 and this is 5, 6. So in transverse vibration, it's not a very simple matrix. Here I'm going to have a 4 by 4 matrix each. So here I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are indicating the degree of freedom of the body. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'll go for element 2. Now if you look at element 2, it is exactly similar to element 1. So whatever I have written in this matrix, the same thing can be written for element 2, except the node numbers are 2, 3 for element 2 which means the degree of freedom is 3, 4 and 5, 6. So after writing this entire matrix, I should write the degree of freedom as 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's jot it down. So I'll mention here 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next step 3 is my development of GME. You can see in the discretization diagram, there are total 6 degree of freedom. So my order of GME will be 6 by 6 matrix. Now from the EME, I note that there is a 10 raised to 6 common. Each matrix will be a 6 by 6 matrix. So be very careful while forming it. Now this which you see is the first one. So I will be placing 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6 in its corresponding place. So this is the first matrix that is formed. You can see here 3, 4, 3, 4. This matrix is common to both the elements. So there is an addition which has been performed here. Next I have minus omega square as a common term and again I will have a 6 by 6 matrix. And here I have V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6 is equal to Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6. So let's place these values now. So this is my GME obtained. Now I will write the boundary conditions. If you look at this diagram, node 1 and 3 are fixed. So there will be no deflection and slope at the first node. So I will write out 0 and 0 here. Node 1 is fixed. Same way V5, V6 is 0. I will write node 3 is fixed. Now since these are 0, these have to be question mark. And these two I will take as 0. This is called as balancing of secondary variables. So these two will become question mark for me. That is slope and deflection at node 2. Now if V1, V2, V5, V6. So many of them are 0. Then I can easily neglect my first row, first column, second row, second column, fifth row, fifth column. And 6th row, 6th column. Similarly, I can do it for this matrix. You can see a small portion of matrix remains here and here. So, I have a 10 raised to 6 common. 192, 0, 0, 16, minus omega square, 0 0.3720. 0 and 0 0.0024 Here I have V3, V4 is equal to 0 These two can be taken on the other side This is like A into P is 0 So I have only this much portion left to calculate the value of frequency So I have 10 raised to 6 and then I can take this in subtraction, so 0 0.372 omega square, here I have 0, 0 and 16 minus 0 0.0024 omega square is equal to 0 here. Now I will take this 10 raised to 6 on the other side, it is gone. So I want to take the mod and calculate the value of omega like I did in the previous numerical. So I have mod of this matrix now I will cross multiply and calculate the value of omega let's multiply so I get the equation as 3072 minus 6.4 omega square plus 0 0.00884 omega raised to 4 is equal to 0. So let me put omega square as t. Therefore omega raised to 4 will be t square. Therefore I get this equation as 0 0.00884 t square minus 6.4 t plus 3072 is equal to 0. So I get the value of T as 6722.91 and 516.91. Therefore, I get the value of frequency as 82 radians per second and another value of omega as 22.74 radians per second. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos. See you in the next session with another numerical. Thank you. Mm -hmm.